Hello everyone, I'm back. You get to choose whether that's a good or bad thing, but I'm back. Because I haven't uploaded in forever. So I, I have a quick question for you all. Have you ever heard of a game called Escape from Tarkov? I, 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 Tarkov, I, I, I don't know if I know how to pronounce it, but if, if you ever heard of anything like that, here, let me, uh, uh, this game basically escape from Tarkov if if you've ever heard of it then um, I'll, I'll basically spend the whole video talking a bit about it um, now my opinion on it and like from what I perceive I've never actually played it I'm but I do plan on trying it soon um, let me just sorry um, so basically it's it's a game where, um, from what I understand, it's a game where you have to, uh, where you, like, get put in a location of your choice, or for you to, like, customize a character. It, it reminds me of Call of Duty. I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but it, it does remind me, uh, of Call of Duty. And, um, by that, I mean, like, it has the same general graphics and and that's pretty much it. It has the same general graphics. So yeah. Um I I, I wanna I wanna talk about how oh my god. I, I never know how to start off videos. Do I? Anyways, so I, I, I want to talk about my thoughts on the game and how I might end up recording videos about it. So, yeah. So, in this game, um, from what I know, you customize a character. Um... And you you get you get two characters you get to customize I think only one of them and basically you you do missions um, by choosing a general location to spawn in and then like there there would be a ton of other people there and basically you need to get loot um, complete the task slash objectives. And get XP and rewards, slowly level up, and progress through the game. That's what I know about the game. Uh, it's still in, in beta versions, though. God, how do you spell this? Give me a second. That should be how you spell it. But I could be completely wrong. So I, I, I want to draw a little picture about this. Because I'm bored, I've got nothing to do, and I need content. So, that's that's basically what I'll be doing in this video. Um, if you've ever played it, please, in the comments, tell me what it's like. Because I would love to know. And if you guys decide to go uh, look at the video, uh, sorry, look at the game a bit. And say, hey, this is cool. You should you should record some videos about this. Tell me to um, in the comment in the comments, and I'll, I'll 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 definitely try and record a few videos and see if you guys enjoy it or not. So yeah. Uh, shoot. Alright, so, yeah, um, and the, the reason why it reminds me of Call of Duty is it has the same general graphics as Call of Duty, from what I've seen, um, but it's just a lot more, like, like it's, god, how do I explain this game? So, basically, um, I, I looked at the at some of its controls and it looks a lot more complicated 
than what I've seen in Call of Duty because I've I, I I have played it quite a bit actually for quite a while. Um, I I personally enjoy it a lot. Call of Duty, it's fun. Uh, you get to play with a ton of friends, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this completely other game that I that may or may not have nothing to do with Call of Duty. So, yeah. Um, in this game, there are a ton of tasks that you're set out to do, and. Well, I've heard the, they're annoying. I, I, I basically want to explain this game. That's my goal. I want to completely verbally explain this game because I've been told I'm good at explaining stuff verbally without any like physical kind of thing to show. Um, and yeah. So you 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 you're set out to do all these tasks. And then you go back to your kind of home base, I suppose. Um, and then you get XP, you level up, and it keeps repeating. But this game, I mentioned, is still in beta versions. Which means that it's got like 3 million bugs. And I'm sure that's annoying. But from what I've also heard, it also has wipes where basically all progress is reset because of updates and bug fixes and if that's not the reason well then i can't think of any other reason why they would just wipe everyone's progress but yeah now the reason why i want to try the game is because it looks like a lot of fun it looks very open world because there there's there are multiple maps you can pick to go into um, it's got proximity chat from what I understand and I've, I've always wanted to play a game with proximity chat and see what happens I guess um, but I'm not sure if that would end well at all probably wouldn't but eh, it'd be fun to try out um, but it doesn't only remind me of Call of Duty also reminds me a bit of PUBG. If you guys have ever played that game, it's it's also fun. Uh, except it's also third person because this game is first person, but PUBG is both third and first person. And Call of Duty is only well, it's it's only um only first person. Actually, no, it's not true. When you're in a vehicle, it's not. But that's yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so yeah. If, if you've ever played it, I got American music. If you've ever played it, please tell me about it. And tell me if I, if I should, like, play it. Uh, maybe I could try to stream. I've been thinking about streaming for a while, actually. And I, I think it could be fun. Honestly. So yeah. Right here, I'm just trying to draw the face of I don't know, a, a human, preferably. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to focus so that I draw something that turns out good. Okay, no, I screwed that up. So, um, that that's from what I understand in the game. I also understand that it's living hell to go through. Um... Because I, I, I've seen some people play for a bit. I've also seen hour-long streams that I just don't have 
the time or the patience to watch, I guess. So yeah. If you guys are wondering what I'm using to draw this, it's this Sketchpad Pro. It's not even a program, it's just you can find it literally on Google. Just like I mean uh, I, I use a Windows 10 laptop which is exactly how it sounds. It's a Microsoft laptop basically. It's a ThinkPad. Leveno. Sorry, Le 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 Lenovo. Oh my god. Um and it uses Bing as its browser, but not only Bing, like Microsoft Bing. So it's yeah, the the search is scuffed, but I still managed to find this, which is nice because I don't. I'm, I've only got two things I can use to draw, and I'm not really sure how I use the other thing. So yeah, here I am using this. Um, I seriously don't know what to talk about. I, sh I should have made a script before starting this video. I'm still working out this whole YouTube thing. So, um, please try to have some patience with me. Because I'm, I'm still trying to learn all of this, how it works, and how to get a proper upload schedule up. Dark green. I guess just relax with me here while I draw. I don't really know what else to say. I've been thinking, it's, I find it very hard to manipulate arms like through drawings, and especially when I'm making them like have their arms crossed. Just look at this. It's I, I find it difficult. I know this is rushed and I don't expect it to be good. And I hope you don't either. But just I find it generally difficult to like use all like to configure all those elbows and, and arms like with the hand. So I've been thinking Maybe I should just steal Ender Sloth's idea with what they did with the Mungus and just make the hands kind of float. And that also give me more time to work on other smaller details. Like, not spending an hour trying to configure damn elbows, because it's, it's, it's a pain. It's a, it's, a it's a struggle, I'm gonna be honest. So yeah. I wanna add some shading here. It's like all one green, it's confusing. I want to give it more depth. So I do that. And I grab an even darker green and I put it here. I'm just trying to shade this properly. And I hope it's working well, but I guess you guys will be the judge of that.
I just realized that made this person's legs absolutely enormous. But anyway, that's fine. This is giving him an outline. I don't think it should be there. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. I feel like this is way too stressful for me. <laughs> and then I can see what I was going for, cause like, there's the arm here and then the gun here. It's just like, it's very far back. Cause I want no light source to be somewhere here, like closer to you guys. Cause like, you're standing right here and this is what you can see right so I want the light to be coming from here but yeah I have that general feeling but again I am drawing this with mouse so. yeah I'm trying to configure like a hallway here. I don't want to exactly spoil what it is at the same time though, so I gotta figure out a good way to do this. I hope this has like a long hallway sort of feeling. That is definitely what I was going for. So, like a piece of the wall was blown out. give it a better frame when I draw I never focus on one part of the drawing I always skip to different parts and different steps which can sometimes be troublesome but in the end I get them all done fairly neatly The reason why I haven't been trying to draw on paper where I have a lot more control because here it's a mess. Literally. Um, but I don't my my laptop's camera is currently a bit buggy. So I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon. But for now, this is this will have to do.
is, so I'm still here, don't worry. <laughs> I have an idea, I'll just color this whole guy in. And then I'll overlap in everything I don't want, like the colors. So that I don't spend so much time coloring. Because it is important to add colors, because I don't know how to really do like, very 3D black and white pictures. So I find coloring very important because of that. And just like so. No, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I have an idea. No, no, that's the same thing. I want to give it that kind of like curve kind of thing. Uh, it's, it'll do. It'll. I can always reshape it with other colors. Right. This all looks just fine, right? And this is about I'll fix that later. I'll fix that later. You might ask why I don't just press undo. It's because it takes forever for this app to actually undo it. Like it, 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 it decides to just redraw the whole picture when I'm doing something. And even when it finishes, it is completely undo, which is annoying. So I just erase it. It's faster. I don't care if I end up messing up the erase. It's better. It's faster. other one since it's much farther in the background. Basically this is the foreground, here's the background. Like this is the hallway. There's gonna be another passage here. And I want him to have three other people with him. This one person is gonna be the trio. I guess. Um I just reshape it. I find reshaping with colors, like the form of the figure, very helpful. I do have this animation app on my phone that doesn't let you reform black with other colors. Because of other features that I have. So, yeah. I also don't know how I'd end up recording it on my phone. I don't know how to screen record. I know how to take like um, screenshots on my phone, but not how to screen record on it. So, yeah. Also, it's bad. Also, if I sound tired, uh, that's because I am. So, yeah. There's that. I'm just starting to realize that this video is going to be a bit longer than I thought it would be. I 
one could turn this room into a party and annoy you all. Or I can just make a very long video. Okay, that, that head is enormous. I want to finish this person at least. And then do the other two people. If I'm like making a part two. Uh, so like, if I do end up turning this into a part two. I want to like, finish this. But God, one uh, head proportion. This is why I usually draw heads first. I, I do draw a lot on buses. While like being bored at home, like I'm, I'm, I'm often drawing or playing video games or working. This is gonna be that. Oh, this is gonna be tiny. Shoot. Oh, I just, oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm mad at myself. Why did I do that? No, I, I just realized I'm gonna have to completely, like, color the face. Oh, uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can live with that. I, I don't want to spend, like, an hour just trying to fix that one mistake. It's fine. It's fine. And, and you guys get more of this content. By the way, speaking of my content, if you enjoy my videos, um, if you enjoy this video, consider liking it. And if you just enjoy my content as a whole, please subscribe. Oh, this looks so much worse. And here's proof that undoing when this thing is awful. See, it barely did anything. Here's the thing, I double, I clicked it twice though. Guys, this looks so pixely. Oh, I hate that so much. So while this is undoing, I'll just make this a tiny bit bigger. Okay, that did not undo that much. I mean, the first time I did this, it was so much better. What happened? <laughs> what happened here? Holy. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't want to give him a helmet. Not after I spent so much time working on his face. I don't want to have to end up redoing it. So, you know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, gonna give him some hair. He's not gonna be bald. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna have to end this soon because I've got other things to do. This recording's getting getting long. How long have I been recording for? My, where, eh. Thirty. Holy! If there's anyone still watching, uh, thank you so much. It does mean a lot to me. Um. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to stop here. I hope you all enjoyed the video. This is what we have so far. I do plan on making so much more and I won't do any of it off camera. Unless like in between this and like when I'm getting ready to record again. I just see, please never do this again. Now I'll stop. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, uh, like and you enjoy my content, then subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.